Enough to be annoying. You're not sure if it's going to get worse or if it's going to pass. I'm going to have to really check the weather. But I had to cut short some of my writing plans, especially when I was in downtown Harvard. Uh, wanted to go to the library, a couple other places, explore some more. Then it started to rain, so I packed up everything and came back here. And it's been raining on and off, and it's driving me crazy. I'm going to wait it out, um, charging cameras, downloading footage. And went out and got a couple of extra things. Uh, got a new, you know, funnel, pretty much. Uh, that was one of the things I forgot to pack, just in case it ran out of gas uh, to go with my gas bottle over there. And some more index cards. I'm going to rewrite some of my directions and include mileage so I know how far these different uh, points are that I have to go. That was part of my problem, was expecting it to be sooner when it was much later. Uh, rookie mistake. And uh, still, not used to shooting all of this. Went out with my Rilo and the Insta 361 on the back of my bike, and I should have double tapped it when I turned it on. I only tapped it once. I only took a photo. So I didn't get any of that footage. I'm hoping the weather will get better. And I will go back out and do it again, if that's at all possible. Just guessing this is on me. So hopefully I have a better, more productive day than what I did today. But you know, I shot some nice stuff. So there's that. And this is just uh, getting myself ready, working out these bugs so that when I get to Nova Scotia, none of this crap is going to happen again unless the weather is really bad. So, keep my fingers crossed. If anything, I'm hoping I can still go bowling tonight. We'll see. Okay. Second time to try. I'm gonna try candle pin bowling. But I'm gonna go back through my neighborhood. The rain has stopped, at least for now. It might come back a little bit tonight. So, you know, window of opportunity. I'm gonna take it. I can get the full mounty of all my cameras going. Gotta take the risk sometimes. Overall, it's been a pretty good day. Uh, getting lots of footage. The rain was unexpected. Uh, stopped me from doing a lot of what I wanted to do, but I think I've got enough. Try and uh, make up for it with what I'm doing now. That can really help. See how it goes. Okay, just pull out and be slow. 
Mr. Avanti. Okay. You don't know how to use turn signals or you don't have turn signals. Pretty dumb. Or bad. And they say New Jersey drivers are bad. Hopefully they'll let me play. I mean, I can't remember how to play. I was reading up a little bit on candlepin bowling and the scoring and everything. Maybe I can just watch. See how good they are. When I get back from this, I've got to really start prepping for tomorrow. Do another inspection of the bike. Make sure everything is downloaded and charging. Double check the weather. It looks like I'm going to have a good um, window of opportunity, so I don't think I need to wear any rain gear. I am going to try and really hit the road really early, uh, around 6 in the morning. Get a jump start. It says, according to Google Maps, that it takes like six hours, so I'm going to say eight. They're like most hotels where I'm going. Uh, they probably won't let you check in until after three. So that would probably get me there around that time. And a good chunk of it is just on one interstate, straight up through New Hampshire and then Maine, up to where I get to Bangor, and I'm gonna take uh, Route 9 east which will take me into New Brunswick uh, have to cross the border there and then from there maybe about an hour hour and a half to St. John so keep my fingers crossed hopefully it will be easy going didn't get a chance to really uh, explore around see like Fort Devens or the former uh, army base the guy I was talking to was telling me that uh, special forces were uh, stationed there that was a big secret I didn't even know that uh, you know a lot of my said friends parents were officers on the base and uh, I'm sure the parents weren't allowed to they tell their kids and so yeah it's a really well kept secret as it should be but interesting to learn more about this it's a shame it was because of budget cuts and I guess redundancies or whatever the case might be but uh, they closed the army base and one of the joys of, of having an army base nearby other than the fact that you know when we hear the bombers land and stuff scare the hell out of everyone was 4th of July. Man, you have not seen a 4th of July celebration until you see one put on by the army. Those were amazing. I remember just our family would go out there and we could just stay in the car and watch. And it was amazing. I mean, the smell of gunpowder was so strong. The, the band, the live band, oh, just everything. Everything was coordinated really well. So, yeah, I see the house back there, but I don't really see a barn or anything. Or maybe there it is. There's the barn. Didn't see it before. Okay, but you know, it's a little overgrown. I don't know if they still have horses there or not. And that was actually nice. You know, the head fences and the horses would come down and you can go up to them. Some were nice and some weren't so nice. 
horses kind of freak me out a little bit not that i'm scared of them but you know anything that is bigger than you that can step on you and sometimes are unpredictable i just kind of want to give them a lot of space i've ridden a horse before and it was interesting because when i did it, it was like during sunset it was like really kind of gray and murky you could really hardly see the ground so i'm on this giant animal literally just floating in the air moving it was a little weird probably missed and lee road and these man i keep doing that where is it closed this is probably babbitt no 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 i found it this time Yay. I just remember riding my bike down this road. Lots going up and down and everything. This is the town where I discovered that I was really good at art. And at the time, uh, yeah, I was into comic books and learning how to draw from comic books and everything. Star Wars had came out and that was a huge influence. I just said, that's what I want to do. I want to make movies. And I really wanted to become like a filmmaker and an animator. Some of my friends who lived here uh, were, I said, the officers in the army. Hard to tell. I remember that house there. That was our neighbor's house, but we never knew who they were. And there's our house. I just kind of wanted to take a nice slow ride by it. Those sheds were never there. Obviously the color is different. But uh, pretty much. 84 and Lee Road. Those were the Walker's house or the neighbor's house for sale. They're obviously not there. And up there were lots of trails where we could go back and hike and everything and find old stone walls that were property lines. There my friend who family built that house and then they moved in he was in our grade my friend Tim McKay lived in that house Timmy was crazy during Halloween he used to hide down uh, under the front door eaves and shoot bottle rockets at people <laughs> well at kids not at everyone just the kids he knew because he didn't want anyone to come to his house for trip or treat Used to be more of a gully down here, over here on the left. Looks like it's filled in like a, there it is, part of a drainage ditch. And one year, a guy was racing down here uh, sometime after midnight, and his car flipped over, crashed, and was killed. My mom remember hearing it, saying that she heard the car, and then there was just like this weird sound, and it just stopped. And she kind of sat up in bed and wondered what the heck was going on and didn't think about it until she heard the news. I think that's another house a friend of mine lived in. So many memories. Just trying to process everything. Beautiful houses. The road has taken a beat and this is just be another great road. All up and down here just for skateboarding. Look at so many hills. Like I said, this is the hill where I was pedaling down in 10th gear as fast as I could. And probably right here is where the pedal fell off. And I was sliding and sliding and sliding. And I don't think I came to a stop until about right here or so. That house used to be blue. So normally I would take a, a right to head back to Harvard Road. But I'm going to go left and see if I can see one of the Shaker houses. These roads are, you can see, just paved. There aren't any sidewalks or anything. In the winter time, it's a little iffy. And beautiful at the same time. I mean, if you're really out in the woods, backcountry roads in a way. And so it's, uh, it's fun. Romantic. This used to be part of our bus route. 
And there's some of the trails that I talked about that go back to somewhere, some of uh, where the Shaker sites were. So kind of up here ahead is my friend Marjorie's home here on the left. It's still there. I can't really see what's left of it. Yeah, those are some of the Shaker houses. You can see it over there. It's been well maintained. You can see some of the remnants here. That it's just been like that for like decades. Okay, I just wanted to see that, see if it's still there. I'll turn around somewhere up ahead, but obviously not on any of these turns. Seems a good place as any. <sighs> Don't even want to try and do a U-turn here. You can see the roads look a little slick. So uh, I don't know how slippery they are. More of these old stone walls. Yeah, they always had a, a garden in front. Beautiful home. Chickens were always up there. Some other farmyard animals. Nothing going on over there. Interesting. So I'm glad I did this and hopefully all three cameras are operating. This should be good. So much fun. This is uh, the town's arcade too, like where I played Pac-Man and Asteroids and Defender. Oh, so much fun. All happened here. Thank <laughs> you. 